Welcome to Cloudy Knit Crochet. My name is Lori and I would love to crochet up a storm with you. So please subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you. So today is day four of my camping trip at the beach and I have a finished object. I am so excited that I got this project done. I was very focused to get it done so I could wear it tonight um, next to the campfire. So I can't wait to wear it. Um, so let me show it to you. Now the drape for this garment has really nice drape even though you have two yarns together and it's really lacy and open and it'll look really cute with like a tank top underneath and then if you've never made a sweater or any kind of garment before this would be a really good first time pattern to try out. And I have the link to the pattern below. Now the adjustments that I did for the pattern was I um, did a little more decreased stitches in the sleeves so they weren't as wide. Um, so I made that. But now I did make a mistake um, from the pattern. Now the pattern um, has slits on the sides, one here and then another slit on the other side. So when you seam up the sides, you were supposed to leave like three inches um, opened right down here on the bottom and I totally totally forgot um, but I've noticed that this sweater is really versatile and you could do a lot of different things to the pattern to make it fit for you so since I made that mistake um, I went ahead and just did um, the band going all the way around and it works out good. Oh, and another thing about this sweater, it had a high low on the bottom where the front of the sweater is shorter. And then the back of the sweater is has additional crochet um, rows to make the back longer. I decided I didn't want my sweater to have that kind of style. So when I made the front and the back panel, I just made it both with the same amount of rows. And again, a very versatile pattern. And I love the neckline. Um, sometimes I've, in the past, I've crocheted some sweaters and they don't put in a neckline where they decrease the stitches to make the shape of a neckline. And then the sweater just kind of goes straight across. And I don't know, I just don't like anything that close to the top of my neck. So I really enjoyed that this pattern had a neckline shaped into it. So, as you could tell, I'm so excited that I got this done. And the reason I got this done was you guys, you were um, encouraging me and motivating me and I had a goal. So I reached my goal and I got it done. I even sewed in all the spaghettians. Can you believe that? <laughs> so there it is. So again, I will leave the link to the pattern below and let me know in the comments below if you're thinking about tackling this um, pattern too. I would love to see 
um, pictures of what kind of yarn you're going to use and so that it would be great to have a ongoing conversation with you if you decide to make the same pattern that I just did. So thank you. Thank you so much for watching all my uh, camping episodes. This is the last one. We um, pack up and head home tomorrow morning. And I have to end this video showing you the Pacific Ocean. My husband and I had a great um, vacation down here. Uh, total fish that my husband caught was about nine fish. So he's definitely going home a uh, happy camper. I hope you guys are all doing well and thank you. Thank you for uh, watching my episodes. Bye for now until we meet again.